Hey, you know when that guy's gonna get off his ass and play Vampire the Masquerade again? Remember, you know, you know that guy that was playing it and then he just stopped? Alright, 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 I get the message. So yeah, um, we're playing Vampire the Masquerade again. Um, back up off my junk. So we're actually right outside the last round bar because the music from the last round bar, as much as I like it, actually caused a uh, copyright flag on the video. So I just walked out of there in disgust and then I'm standing right here. Let's see, I forgot what we're doing. I've been fiddling around here for a few minutes trying to get my hands back on the controls, but I'm really not that competent yet. So we'll just have to go. Fun with pestilence. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go look for Paul at the Skyline Apartments. Talk to some of the bums around the city. Hey, you. Huh? What do you want? Um, I need to ask you about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. Yeah. You know, that sounds, that, that sounds your, you know what, that sounds all right. I think, I think, hey, I'm your friend from the shelter. Okay. I mean, I don't know too much about nothing, but I know that Tin Can Bill's been telling some crazy stories about how he's got sick of them. Something about a monster or some such. Hmm, where's Tin Can Bill? You can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar nearby. Thanks. You mean like right over here? That's not an alleyway. That's nothing. All right, hey, are you Tin Can Bill, perhaps? All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, dude. No, I'm not gonna take your stuff. I'll just just chill out. It's cool. All right, nope. Yeah, oh, here. This is probably it. Um, all right, nobody around. Let's see if I can figure out how to. Okay, there's my weapon. Uh, holster. Okay, cool. All right, we've got this down. Just in case Tin Can Bill wants to get frisky. I really don't think he will, but maybe. Are you Tin Can Bill? You look like a Tin Can Bill. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Um, it's not Fred. I heard you can tell me why everyone is getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Absolutely. Here's five bucks. I could tell him that I'll give it to him afterward and then not, but being a douchebag to homeless people is not my MO. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. That's alright, I believe you, man. Come on. It's a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, his eyes piss yellow and full of hate. Man, that's pretty nasty. Um, so what happened? He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh God, the smell, worse than anything I've and then he beat me. My back. Oh God, it was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> hmm. All right, um, all right, uh, Bill, I need to know where that monster took you. Came up through the sewers he did. Hmm. Around the corner there. Don't want to go back to the bad place again. Don't let the monster come back and take me there. I know this is serious, but I think the people who animated his face and the people who read the dialogue were at odds about what he should be doing because I've never met someone who can cough so many times without actually covering his mouth. All right. Stay with me, Bill. Things are going to be all right. Don't worry, Bill. Someone's going to pay for this. Did he just die? 
Holy shit, I am so sorry about the coughing thing. That is in such poor taste. Fuck, man. Alright, well. Let's go see if we can figure out... So this is the sewer that he said he came up from. Yeah, sewers. Alright, let's do it. See if we can find some... I don't really like digging around in the sewers, but... When you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. And, uh... The big, the big yellow-eyed guy may or may not be a vampire. I have no idea. Um, I remember loving this quest, but I don't remember <laughs> what actually happens. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Alright, cool. Got my sword. I'm all kinds of ready and prepared to fight big nasty monsters. Actually, I am woefully unprepared to fight nasty monsters. The last time I tried to fight something, it took seven takes. So we're just gonna avoid confrontation if that's at all possible. I'm also gonna avoid freaky ass water animations. Okay, um... Here, this grate's all torn up. I wonder if this is it? I mean... A monster could have torn that up. I really don't know where the hell I'm going. Doesn't seem to be any real clues down here, but let's see. Access point one. Why are they alphabetized? Oh no, I. It wasn't one, it was I. Alright, we're gonna try here. Just, first of all, get our ass out of the sewers. Second of all, because it looks like some big nasty monster could have torn this one up. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see. Well, alright, so that really wasn't that useful. Here we are. Hey, uh, you people know anything about the contamination? I mean, you're wearing fucking hazmat suits. No? No. Alright, fuck you then. Oh, we made it all the way down here! <laughs> uh, okay. Um. I guess we're going back into the sewers. This is just not the right place to be. Well, dang. All right. Okay, so it's obviously not this exit. How about this way? Nothing. Rats. There's another one that's sewer access H. Sure, we're. I are we? We're looking for a clue down here, aren't we? We're not. Sewer is the home of the plague bearer. I don't know if just leaving the sewer is going to help us any, but we'll have to see. I mean, we need some sort of clue. Aha! Oh, it's permanently locked. God damn it. What about this? No, that's all covered up. Um. It's a little greener than the other ones. I, I'm grasping at straws here, guys. I don't know. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go... No, you know what? As much as I appreciate Bill uh, giving us his monologue and then dying in front of us, which was awful, by the way. I really am not super happy about that. I think we're just going to go hit the Skyline Apartments and see if we can find some other information that doesn't require me crawling around in the sewers for two hours. Oh, <sighs> man. I should probably read the tips on the tip screen, but I just don't. Uh, where the fuck am I? Where the fuck am I? Uh... Where the fuck am I? I'm in a building, but a whole lot of nothing building. Where the fuck are we? Okay, we're in the basement of some building, but I don't know where. Oh, shit. Okay, listen, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, that was where I needed to be. Alright. 
it's best I can do. Sorry, man. You know, it's incredibly convenient. You just, you just, yeah, you just stay over there. I don't know which floor I need, so let's just start at the first floor. Does my journal say? Tin Can Bill has pointed you in the direction of the sewers, but no, I need to check this other guy, and now my, my... Uh, okay, hold on. Let's just stop, and then crouch, and then lockpick. Said somebody in the Skyline Apartments was sick. Oh, this is a kind of nice place. Bathroom? No need... What? There's a camera right there. The fuck is this shit, man? No cameras. Here, we'll do it like that horror movie, Oculus, and we'll just point it at the wall. There. Alright. Um. Okay, there's nothing to do with that. There's a vent I can crawl through. I wonder if that helps somehow. There's Mom's Best Brew. There is the most... What? Photo? Oh, shit. Looks like a Nosferatu attacking some dude. That might be our beast. I am not 100% sure, though. We'll, we'll see. That was incredibly effective, Ben. Um, There's vents I can crawl around in. We're gonna... Fax? Alright. Um... Cool. Wait, are those painkillers I can steal? No. Uh, guys, gotta make a living. Um, alright. Email. Yeah, we're not getting that. Hospital horror. A dilapidated hospital in a downtown area. The place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We're just... We'll say the ghost of a nurse who feels that she still has patience to serve. Show 18. Eternal unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood and it's full of actors. More than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. I really want to get into your, um, into your email, so let's try a little blood buff. And then let's try this again. I don't think that works for hacking, to be completely honest. Yeah, it doesn't. It just increases physical stickills, so that was pretty much a waste of blood. Uh, awesome. Okay, so this guy's some kind of horror movie promoter. I don't really know, but we can't get into his email, so let's see here. Um, is there anything I can do? Like, do I have spare experience? I have a shit ton of experience. Why don't we just buff up our hacking like nobody's business and then never have to have this problem again. I mean, I may regret that, but you know what? I don't regret that. Computer hacking is an important life skill. Yeah, ectoplasm. What up? All right. Haunted LA is like the greatest show ever. Totally, I'm going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel I stayed at one time in Palm String Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. LOL. Get out of here. Holy shit, you suck. Haunted LA my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, there ain't no fucking way no goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Who in the hell do you think you're fooling? Not even as we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. <laughs> I butchered that. Um, I hope you get eaten by some stupid flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. You know what? Internet, um, uh, internet, uh, abuse is real abuse. Also, he probably did get eaten by a monster. He had a picture of a Nosferatu, and so I can only assume. Oops. I can't feed on the grating. Imagine that. God damn it. I'm going to be really disappointed if this is the only... Okay, wait, no, there's a whole other way to get in here. Because that was downstairs. And then what is this? Oh, this is from the basement. 
What? No, this is different. This is very different. There's an... Somebody's been watching? What the hell? Bathroom? It seems like everybody's bedroom and everybody's bathroom. Weird. Um, okay. Apartment 1. Simon Mulligan. He's on TV. So odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. Gotta keep an eye on him. Oh, is this like a creepy... Sean Milton, he's a slob, never really has chicks over. Some guy's been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. Right, three. Georgia Welt, this rich broad's pretty hot. Oh, the password for a door, 9648. So maybe he'll sneak up there. Okay, that's fucking terrible. But I am going to write down that code, because we're going to get there eventually. 9648. All right. <sighs> Oops. Hey, douchebag, read the console. Vacant, no reason to keep an eye on this one. Paul Anderson? Thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep tape rolling. Hannah Glazer, the gold mine. She, something hot always going down in here. And that was usually with, some, with Hannah herself. Okay. Keep hidden cameras online. Hey Tom, sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending me that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. <sighs> Alright, so this is nasty and not great. Where the hell are we? Oh, we're in the ba Dude, did I walk right by this room and just like not notice it last time? Also, I can't seem to keep my sword in my pocket. Um, Yeah, I guess I did. So that's fucking dumb. Chalk me up to being a complete idiot. All right, can we we cannot climb back up there, so we have to actually tangle with the security guard at the door again. This is going to be fun. As you can tell, I am the sneakiest motherfucker. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? Fuck you, man. Listen. I just want to wait for the elevator, all right? Just leave me alone. You're getting blood all over the floor. Somebody's gonna have to clean this up. Oh fuck! I closed the door's closed. Get in the elevator. Floor two. Fucking asshole! Where's my healing? God. What is it with douchebag security guards? I mean, I should just kill them. I'm a fucking terror of the night. But you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to. Lockpicking skill below 5. Man, I wish I had some extra experience to spend on lockpicking. Which I don't. Oh, there. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, fine. Well, this one we can actually bluff, buff up and then do. Increases our dexterity. There you go. I'll get that skill up there sometime. Oh, she's not as well off as Captain TV guy, but there's a couple of car stereos. That's kind of rough. There's a phone. All right, we'll answer the phone message. Let's just check out the rest of the rooms here. I'd hate to have an un unhappy guest here sometime. All right. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate. Durbin? Mike Durbin. You know who Mike Durbin is? Mike Durbin was the guy that we were looking at um, for Santa Monica Quests. Yeah, here. I was not looking for Muddy, but I found him. Millen meets someone at an unknown location across from a bar. That's interesting. Guy kind of is a slob. Kendo for advanced students. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, so this will just lead downstairs. I really don't want to do that because then I have to fight Officer Cap fucking douchebag again. You can tell that I'm a really, really, you know, 
professional YouTuber when I basically just... Oh, shit, this someone died in here. Um, maybe? I don't know. All right. Um, up, please. Floor three. Okay, uh, floor four, I think, was the vacant one. Oh, this one's the one that actually has a passcode. Okay, so let's get out that card and hope she isn't home. Mm -hmm. We need nine. Oh, it's nine, six, four, eight. All right. Wow, this is a nice place. Kind of like the freestanding living room kind of atmosphere. It kind of opens up the space nicely. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. I am... I Okay, so on the cameras as we were heading up here, I saw one apartment had someone in it. And I'm really not looking forward to, like, waking somebody up and them finding me in their apartment and everything being fucked. Customer security interface, safe. Jewels. Um, unlock the safe. I feel a little bit bad about that, to be completely honest. I don't know where the safe is either. But I might guess. Holy shit. Right, no, it's cool. We can just hang out. We can just hang out. This is fine. You know what? This is fine. He doesn't know I'm here. He knew that I rode the elevator up here, but he doesn't know where I am. That's right. Okay, let's sneak in here. All right, this is much better, yeah? Oh, she has a really cool computer. This is much better. This is much, much, much better. Because not only am I in the room with the safe full of jewelry, but I oh also can slip away through the vents. See you later, fucktard. Oh my gosh. Now. Uh, da, 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 da. I am a fucking criminal mastermind. A criminal goddamn mastermind. See you later. I mean, sure, sure. I, lessened, I left an excessive amount of DNA evidence splattered all over the elevator and the floor in the lobby. So if someone looks me up, they'll find it. But otherwise, that went off without a hitch. All right. Oh shit, there is a dead dude on the floor right or a hungover dude on the floor right now. Hi, Paul. It's Hannah. Hey. Just call to see how you are. I hope I didn't give you what I've got. Ugh, I feel like crap. Actually, I need to ask you a favor. Could you pick me up some cold medicine at the store? <laughs> I hate to bother you, but One two oh three. Uh oh. So this dude caught what she had and is no more. Like he was just here in the living room and it's done. They're donezo. Guys over with. So I think that's part of our lead. Is I mean we found that guy with the picture. Um, but I think that it's been spreading through this building that, uh, whatever Hannah happens to have isn't just a cold. It's probably something to do with the monster, but I have got to stop doing that. All right, cool. Well, that's enough. That's all we need. Let's head up to the sixth floor, um, investigate Hannah's apartment and see what we can find about these plague bearers. 
because I hate to say this, but she, if she's still alive, is probably more reliable than our friend Bill. I mean, that's not to say that he was unreliable, it's just to say that he died, and I had no idea where to go other than in the sewers. And it would have made a much less interesting episode if I just wandered around there and down there for half an hour. But, we'll have to see. Oh no, she's gonna be dead, isn't she? Wait a fucking minute. Wait, wait, this is the... I asked for the sixth floor, you piece of garbage. Six. Did I accidentally hit ground? Am I an idiot? Did I push G instead of six? You know, it could be. But who am I to judge? There, now we're going back up. Perfect. Alright, so. Let's do a little bit of sneaking. Alrighty, let's look around in here before we get too excited. A little bit of the Chinese decor. Scrolls that uh, promote the connection to the wild. I learned that from my interior architecture class. Um, well, and it's not just scrolls, but like paintings and all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, alright, um, cool. Nothing in the laundry room. Alright. I am loath to go up here. Literally loath to go up here. Oh, she's still alive. And she's probably not going to be happy that I'm here. Hey. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I'm a friend of Paul's. He wanted me to come check on you. Oh, I could be a doctor, no. Um, yeah, you sound really sick. Uh let's focus on you. I don't really know. I I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I feel like I've got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. I just want to get out of bed. What day is it? I can't remember. Um, that sounds really bad. Where did you get it? Uh, client? She was just a woman. Oh, God. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. Can, what can you tell me about her? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Hmm. Was there anything else about her? Uh, yeah, where'd you meet her? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? No, um, I, I, okay. I should probably tell her the truth. I mean, she's on her deathbed. Um, uh, but should I be nice? I, I hate to be the one to tell you, but Paul's dead. It's okay, it's okay. I guess she was sicker than she thought. I'm out of here. God. What is with people dying, like, right in front of me? This is fucking miserable. I'm so sorry. I am sorry that the last thing you heard was that your friend is dead. I'm gonna take your stuff. I'm really sorry. God damn it. Listen, I'm really so- Oh my god! Okay, um... I think what we're gonna do is just leave quickly and not return. Okay... Um, yeah, let's get the hell out of these apartments. We have plenty of information to go on. Someone named Jezebel Locke and the Imperial Arms Hotel. That we can handle. Oh, I went to the first floor, not the ground floor. There. All these elevators work like real elevators. 
So it'll take me to the first floor, open up, and then go down again. Or maybe it won't. I have no idea. It will. It actually just invalidates my other button press. That's kind of stupid. Oh, don't be back, don't be back, don't be back. Yeah, you're gone. Fuck yeah. Alright. So we need some blood. Because if we're going to be fighting with a Nosferatu... Holy shit! I completely forgot that I was wanted by the police for that entire sequence. Okay, calm down, buddy. Alright, um... Listen, just, just stop. Just stop shooting at me for just a minute, okay? Is that cool? I'm just gonna... Hide out back here, I guess. They can probably come back here, to be completely honest. Let's just, yeah, let's just crouch down. And hang out. There's a sewer grating. Why don't we head down there? If I can get out of here. God damn it, game. Alright. They will never ever, as far as... Oh, well. I have never seen the police comb the sewers for someone. Because they don't expect you to fucking pull a Spider-Man and just disappear. So, I think we'll be safe down here. Um... I'm not going to eat a rat. They're innocent and they don't deserve it, and they probably don't give very much blood, seeing as they're tiny. All right, we're looking for the... Ho oh, that's a Los Angeles map. I don't need that. I need the local map. All right. Um, I'm looking for the Imperial Arms Hotel. I'm here. I need to go down... Here we go, the police are giving up. Good. Okay, so that's where I am. So let's try over here. Wait, wait, wait. I should fucking figure out which access point I need instead of being an idiot. Um, the closest one is A. Alright, so A it is. F. I think I am going the wrong way again. G. Yeah, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I am so going the wrong way. Alright. Back the other way. Fast as he can. Fucking slogging around in the sewers. They told me it'd be a vampire. I thought it would be like the vampire Lestat. Like, fucking glamorous. No, just spend a lot of time in the sewers and getting shot by security guards that you can't shoot back. Even if you want to. Where am I now? Perfect. Then I just need to go... Is this point A? This one. Doop, 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 doop. To be fair, though, I guess the security guards, they don't, their, their gunshots really don't hurt that much. I mean... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Is this seriously what's happening? I just walked around in a giant fucking circle and came out where I can't, went in? Because here's the damn... Oh, my... You know what? Let's just stop complaining out loud on the street and just go in here. Good God. Alright. Man. Oh, I think I ran around this place once before. Yes. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Jezebel yeah. Locke. This lock is one of our more um popular guests. Why do you ask? Tactfully said. Are you sure? I'm an old friend of hers, and I want to give her a surprise visit, air quotes. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. You are a fantastic gentleman. Thank you very much. Hello, police officer. I hope that you don't shoot me later. Well, actually, you'll probably just hit me. No, you have a gun, even though you're a hotel security. That's rough. All right. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to scoot off here down to this bar and see. You wouldn't happen to be Jezebel, would you? Hate to say this. I hate to typecast. You look a little bit like a Jezebel. So do you, act. Well, I guess. You know, let... Whoa, is this Knox? Dude, Knox, what the fuck are you doing here? 
Just hanging out. You're not going to talk to me now? Yeah. Oh, you're going to give me the cold fucking shoulder because I sold you out to your boss, douche. God damn. All right, never mind. Since we're all legitimate and stuff, let's just take the elevator. I mean, if the elevator ends in a samurai sword fight, that's something, but... Um, where's the key to her room? Room 508, that's what I wanted. Five. Ooh, fancy loading screen. I don't know, I'm sorry. All right, we're looking for 508. 508. What the hell? This is room. Whoa! I'm gonna just say you're Jezebel Locke. Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you Gross. Come to my parlor? Um I I want I want her to tell me what I want to know, so I'm gonna play along. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? You're just saying typo negative lyrics at me now, aren't you? Also, I forgot my Jimmy hat. I think. I think we found the plague bearer. I think we found the plague bearer. Um, so I can end up like Hannah and her friends. Bam. Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark? No, I didn't. Oh, will they not share it with the rest of God. Ugh. The of the flesh? You're gross. T time to die. Whoa, what? Game. Oh shit, she's freaking out. She's getting good. Um. Let's do a little bit of the let's do a little bit of the celerity, then let's draw out our sword and let's go in there, swinging. Holy shit, Jezebel! Fuck you! You're getting crazy. Get out of! Uh, uh, watcha! Fuck! 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 Not the greatest at this, dude. Jezebel, did your head fucking explode? Is that what blew me out of the room? Your head exploded. Jezebel, we do not have to fight. Your head is off. Also, the weird noises you're making, is this, is this how you entertain clients? You're just like, hey, we're going to have a knife fight. Holy shit, I'm going to die. I am going to die. I'm going to die. Just, just chill out. One second. I need to, I need to heal. Time out. Time out. Oh, my God. I am so going to die. I am going to die in here. No, there. Now we're finally out of the pit. We're going to heal. All right, cool. Maybe I won't die in here. Please stop making headless moaning noises. I can't handle this. Oh my god. Can you just not? Can you not, please? Oh god, I'm gonna die final death. I'm gonna die final death to a headless lady. You know what? You know, no, no. Fuck, she knows how to open doors. Ah! <laughs> And her head's back. Maybe her head didn't explode? I don't know. Um, should we try that again? Alright. Blood buff. Armed and ready. Samurai sword. Armed and ready. What's up? Your club stinks. I've got beef. 
Um, what was the other line? I don't remember. You know what? This has gone on a lot. There's no solution but to kill you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that was a sweet move that I missed completely. Knock you back. Come on. There we go. You want a piece of this? Oh, God, I'm going to die again. Maybe I should save my buffing blood, like, my blood for when I... Oh, shit. Oh, I think I get it. She sort of does, like, this little parry thing, and then... Yeah, see? That's what's up. Alright, whatever. Okay. This could take a while. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try one more time, but I'm gonna save my blood for just healing, so I can just run around the couch and so... And I don't have any blood supplements because I pissed off the guy that gives away blood supplements. So that's not going to happen. We're just going to go in there sword drawn. We're just going to be like, what up, woman? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Your club sucks. Yeah. You're a douche. I've got beef. Yes. You're the only... Wait, what are you trying to accomplish? Let's just ask I you that. All right. You are not very useful. Hey, what? Where's my weapon? There it is. All right. Hey, come here. What? That's right. You just keep doing your whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs> I keep missing that super kick-ass move. It doesn't really seem to do damage. It's just like really ridiculous. And I'm getting my butt kicked again. Oh, God damn it. Blood, 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 blood. Heal, please. Heal, please. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Just keep it going. Keep it going, man. Just keep healing. You know, this is really the worst first date I've ever been on. I mean, for real. This is awful. Okay, stop. Oh, God, you're so strong. I do not have any more blood for this shit. I can't heal. That's that's my last one. Wait, do I have a gun? Am I a fucking moron or what? I'm not a moron. Guns are stupid. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. You know what? This episode's already going a little bit long, but you know what? We're going to beat her. We're going to beat her. That is my promise to you. I am not going to change clothes right now. What up, shotgun? Lock and load, motherfucker. We're going in there like a SWAT team to beat one girl who should not be as awesome as she is. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yes. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, you... You're done. I do not want my sword! That is not what I asked for. This sucks, because now i got to fight my way to go get that. Okay, ch -ch there we go. Shotgun. That's it. God. Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. I can't beat her. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hmm. I guess there is one, you know, little drawback from making a like seduction only combat no combat build this is awful um we have two experience points so i can't buy any more skill i guess the only thing to do is just try to be really like not get hit just try really hard um i'm gonna use my sword and i'm gonna blood buff because that allowed me to do a ton of damage right away but i'm just gonna just just go to just die all right Man, that no getting hit thing is really not going off cool. See? Just keep beating her up. Go, go, go! Shit, stop letting her parry. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Five minute break. Five minute break! Jezebel, five minute break. Seriously, though, 
Uh, just, just like a, just a break, please. Like, just time out, maybe. What up? Ass is grass, and I'm gonna samurai sword it. <sighs> Whew. Man, that was not too bad. God, this corner. Um. All right, back to civilization. What do we got here? What is this? A book. Unknown. Vampires might not need glasses. You need the research skill to use this. So I just got a, another unknown book. Is this it? No. That's not it. Alright, so I am too stupid to read the next clue. Perhaps, however, my quest log can let me in on that secret. Port back to Damsel. Oh, that's it? Oh, alright. I guess she was the plague bearer. What happened to the Nosferatu then? Was he just another red herringy thing? All right, whatever. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll report back to Damsel in the next one. All right, bye guys.